Hey everybody, it's Linda from the Crafting Depot and I'm starting to feel better. It's evening here and I just got the um, excitement to do another page. So just to recap, the last video I did was to uh, decoupage this center of this first signature and I decided I'm going to try and do something on each one. So this was all about birds and now the next one is going to be about gardens. So I found these really cool sayings and I have a beautiful picture right here that I'd like to rip apart. I love the colors and I really think it'll look really nice against the avocado paper. So what I'm going to do and, and look at these sayings. It says, let your garden reach out to you even within your home. And I think that's beautiful. So I'm going to rip that apart and I'm going to be using Mod Podge again because it's working pretty well on the other things that I've been doing and I've been you know even though I haven't been feeling well I have been crafting I just haven't had a lot of energy so I was working on some watercolor drills this afternoon but um, I need to get better paper instead of working on car I have good paper I just don't want to use it all up on my practice sketches so I'm in the process of getting excuse me I'm sorry of getting something to um practice on instead of um cardstock which is not not very good to practice on okay I am ripping but I really should rip out the picture that I want first from here so i'd like to use this page and just see what i can fill up i mean this is beautiful colors i love i don't know if you know this about me but i love orange i love the way it looks with lime green it's just beautiful and i have a book inside of um monet pictures and I absolutely love it. I don't want to cut it up, but you know, it may be getting cut because I think it's going to look so nice in one of my books. Some of you might be cringing at me, and I understand. That's okay. It's rough. It's really rough. Which way should we go? Okay, that looks good. And let's see, what else can we grab out of this pretty picture? We also have... We have sayings. It says, here all the cares of the world are shut out and your challenges are straightforward and immediate. I really like that. It says, when you end... Oh, Jesus. Okay, sorry about that. We had a little catastrophe going on, Alan, but I um, fixed it. Okay, so when you enter... Your garden, let it be as though you opened a magic gate into a new and wonderful world. I like that. Um, I offer this blessing for you and your garden, enumerating the many virtues of gardens that we be vividly aware of their place in our lives and grateful for their existence. But I think I'm going to go with this one. Here, all the cares of the world are shut out and your challenges are straightforward and immediate. I like that. So we're going to add this to the recipient's journal. How nice is that? Words of encouragement. Everybody needs that. Especially the way things are going in this world. But they're going to get better. I have faith. I really do. Things are going to get better. Okay, so we're going to put that there, and even though it is unclear of what it is, it's okay. Okay, so maybe we can note that, you know what, we have to change this, this side of the paper I cut. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. Maybe we'll leave this out, we'll put this here, and... I have more paper. I like this blue. I don't know how much of it I can get. Yeah, I can get the whole thing in. Looks like a pool. And water is very tranquil. So we're going to put that up there. And I'm going to add 
some music paper. So we're going to get rid of... And you know, it's good to keep these words because you never know when you're going to need them. You just never know. One day you could be looking for something that says Minute Waltz. And there you go, you have it. Okay, so let's tear the edge of this off because we're never going to need it. We don't like edges like that. So we'll get rid of that. Sorry, I keep bumping into the camera. It's kind of hard because I'm reaching over the um, the camera. Someday I got to hire a kid to come in here and show me how to um, edit and do all this stuff because I have no idea. It's way over my head. Okay, here we go. So we have that. I really like that a lot. That can go in there. That can go there. And then what happened to the word I just had? No? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Hold on. Right in front of me. Okay. So this should be a short video. And now all I have to do is attach it. And... Hopefully I like it. I'm kind of having second thoughts now. I'm looking at um, no. I do like these colors. I'm going to go with it. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is add Mod Podge to the back. Oh, I have to distress. We need to distress. Okay, so we're going to use the green. And, of course, oh, there's the dauber. We're going to use this dauber. Okay, so we're going to just go around. And I think I might use some gold watercolor paint around it. I think that would look nice. I love watercolors. I just ordered the Princeton professional watercolor and that's coming tomorrow and I have been practicing my strokes and everything it's just so much fun and you know a lot of people are afraid of it which is too bad really because they look nice in the journals I'm going to do a little bit of art painting in the journal I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do but um, probably add like a little flower on each page, you know, and it's not good to really, you know, it's, this isn't the kind of paper you paint on, but I'm going to see what I can do. And I'll come up with something. Okay, the thing is, this looks like it's upside down. Yes, it is. Okay. Got that. And you know what? We need to distress again. So let's get the ink out and distress. And I'm keeping time. I'm keeping. I'm aware of the time. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can. Yeah, it's been boring around here. Well, you know, when you don't feel good, you're isolated from all your friends. I got invited to go out dancing because I love salsa, but my knee is bad. So and I wasn't feeling well. So I needed one more day to um, feel better so I'm I'll be out tomorrow heading to the beach early in the morning and then later on I'll find some friends and go out and just do a little wiggling because that's what Linda likes to do she likes to dance and She's going to get it in tomorrow. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got that. And then we're going to glue this here. And it's all, you know, just whimsy, fun stuff. And we're going to use this. And glue it here. Like that. And I know I didn't distress it. That's okay. At the crafting depot, it's okay. We don't stress over things like that. It's not worth it. This is all um, just fun, playing, enjoying our papers, enjoying 
whatever it is that we enjoy, you know, painting, pottery, whatever it is. I got into this through Pam and I love it. So I've been incorporating some of my past experiences into this. And I used to paint a lot, but then, you know, life brings you back to reality. And you have to pay mortgages and, you know, you got to go to work. So here we go. All right, that's done. Now I want to put that there, but I want to distress it. So here we go. I really like this. And I think it deserves a flower. A handmade paper flower. So you're going to get one. You're not going away without a full flower on it. Oh, great. I just dropped the top of the distress container pad. So I'm going to have to get it. Okay, turn it over. How cool is that? And that looks really good over the avocado paper. Very nice. Hold on one minute. Okay, so I trimmed this down a little bit more. I took a little bit of the tea off, but I'll fix it. And I had to go get the cover to the um, distress sink. And, okay. So we're just distressing. And then we'll be coming to the end. We're like almost done. And we're just going to... And I really enjoy these, and I think whoever opens their book who gets this is going to, you know, really appreciate it. Seeing positive things like that, which is really nice. So here we go. And we're going over the other spot. But we're in. We're in like Flynn. And that is how it goes here at the Crafty Depot. Just a short little idea. You can take um, magazines, book pages, music paper, and some really nice sayings. Can you see that? Okay, so that's it. And, um, you know, who knows when I finish this video, if I think of doing something else, I could do it. And if I do, you'll see it in the final video when I show the whole, page, the whole, the entire book. Okay, have a wonderful day. This is probably going up, this is the evening. It'll be going up Monday or Tuesday. And if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like. You can send me a comment if you'd like. I love getting to know you. And if you would like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel a lot. And I'm trying to get to 500. So any support is greatly received. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.